Progress bar, a user interface element that indicates the progress of an operation. Progress bar supports two modes of repre to represent the progress, determinant and indeterminate. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lesson. The indeterminate progress. Use indeterminate mode for the progress bar when you don't know how long an operation will take. Indeterminate mode is the default for progress bar and shows a cyclic animation without specific amount of progress indicated. So how to do that? Go here, the palette and we select the pro the widgets and we search for the progress bar we have two types the horizontal and the circle i will start with the th circular because it is that indeterminate mode and i infer the constraints here okay so i will give it an id as a progress bar here and i will start by identifying the progress bar creating it initializing it progress bar progress bar equal to find view by id r dot progress bar now this is the indeterminate mode how to make use of this this progress bar is used to show there is a something in background that you are making uh, uh, and you are working on like a service like downloading anything like uh, like showing a loading something like loading or downloading or waiting so we need to make this visible in android in our app this testing app okay so i will drag and drop a button here i will put it here and i will infer const constraints now there is many things many attributes in the progress bar so progress bar, I can put the get pro progress, get indeterminate tint list mode, get maximum, get height with minimum progress, set the progress, I can set the progress, and so on. This is how we make the progress bar attributes. But till now, we are working with the indeterminate mode. So I will create the button here, initialize the button here equal to find view by id r id dot button so i will set set button dot set on click listener new view and on click i will make the progress bar progress bar dot set visible visibility to true okay view dot visible dot visible okay so when the user click on this button it will make the the progress bar visible by default progress bar will be invisible so this is visible invisible let's run our app and see this is the indeterminate uh, mode I am repeating. This is the end determinant mode. So let's see. This is our app. So this is the button. When I click on it, it will display the loading progress circular circular progress bar. So this is used for loading for displaying that there is a work is uh, being done or working on anything like downloading uh, fetching data as a service uh, broadcast and so on okay so let's move to the determinant one this is the indeterminant progress bar indeter indeterminate progress okay 
determinator. Now, let's talk about the determinate progress bar. Use determinant mode for the progress bar when you want to show the specific quantity of progress has occurred. For example, the percent remaining of a file being retrieved, the amount of records in a batch written to the database, or a percent remaining of an audio video, uh, audio file that is playing. So you see many examples in the progress bar that shows you the progress. Here we are going to, to create a new progress bar by dragging and dropping from the widgets a progress bar here in the horizontal way. And I will infer the uh, for infer its constraint, or I will drop it below the button here. I will change this, and I will indicate that this button is for this, and this progress bar. This will be matching the width of the parent layout okay you can customize this in the in the xml here okay so i will make the width as as match parent okay and i will add the margins like for 32 32 okay now, there is an attribute as set max for the progress here. So I can make Android, uh, I can see all the attributes here, like the orientation, the background, the alpha, the, the transpar transparency of it. And I am I am interested in the progress, which is like 25%. You see that this progress bar have been filled 25%. Okay, so the maximum value of this progress bar is 100. Okay, I can set the progress as 25 because it will contain the integer, it will contain an integer indicating the progress. Okay, now let's play with this progress bar. Let's define it at first. Here, determinant progress. And let's say that there's a progress bar, progress bar number two, equal find view by id r dot id dot progress bar two. Okay. Now, the progress bar would be visible by default. When the user click on the button, I need to update the and the percentage of the progress by 10%. So you can update the percentage of progress displayed by using the set the progress integer method or by calling the increment progress by method to to increase the current progress completed by a specific amount. By default, the progress bar is full when the progress value reaches 100. You can adjust this default by setting the Android Max attribute. We can set progress bar, uh, bar large, inverse, small, horizontal, small, inverse, large, inverse, and so on. So the inverse style provides an inverse color schema for the spinner, which may be necessary or the, for the progress if, the, if your application uses a light colored theme. Okay, till now we are interested in increasing the progress bar by 10 every click. So progress bar 2 dot increment progress by and I will add the difference which is 10. Let's run our application and see the increment progress. Okay. So here, if I click the button, 
it will show the indeterminate progress bar which is here and it increases the progress bar by 10. If I click it again, it increases the progress again, 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 and so on. This is, we will see it, this um, progress bar later on in the big projects, in the complex applications uh, that we have done in this course. So this is very simple. Let's uh, learn more about the progress bars and customizations. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and high rated course with a free coupon in the description below.